This question is an easy GRE quantitative comparison sample question. This GRE practice question is from the topic algebra. It's an easy question. At the question stem, we have this information that x upon y is negative. We'll have to compare these two quantities. Let's start by evaluating quantity A. Let's expand quantity A. Quantity A is given as 4x plus 3y times x minus 6y. We're going to multiply and expand this. 4x into x is a 4x square. 4x into minus 6y is a minus 24xy. 3y into x is a plus 3xy. Plus 3y into minus 6y is equal to minus 18y square. Minus 24xy plus 3xy will leave us with minus 21xy. So the expression is 4x square minus 21xy minus 18y square. This is quantity A. When I take a glance at quantity B, a lot of these terms seem to be common. So let's write quantity B beneath it. So let's figure out what are all the common terms and therefore we need not bother about those, right? So we have 4x square present in both quantity A and quantity B. Minus 18y square is also present in both these quantities. So 4x square and minus 18y square are not going to influence the final outcome. They are going to play no role in comparing these two quantities because they are present on both sides. Let's ignore them. So the quantity comparison between A and B for us basically boils down to comparing is minus 21xy or 16xy which of these two quantities is greater or will you be able to compare it at all or not. If you are not able to compare, the answer is going to be a delta. One other information that was available at the question stem, let's not ignore it. We know that x upon y is less than 0. When will x upon y be negative? When one of these numbers is positive and the other number is negative. It could be x positive, y negative, x negative, y positive. Irrespective of whichever number is positive and the other number being negative, the product xy is going to be the product of a positive and a negative number. So that is also going to be negative. So the left hand side or quantity A for us is minus 21 times a negative number. Quantity B is 16 times a negative number because we have deduced that xy is less than 0. Minus 21 into a negative number is a positive number. We do not know its value but we know it is positive. 16 times a negative number is a negative number. We do not know its value but we know it is negative. A positive number is going to be greater than a negative number, which means quantity A is greater than quantity B. Choice A is the answer to the question. We did not know what X was, we did not know what Y was, but we knew that XY is negative. Therefore, we were able to compare these two quantities. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. This expression basically expands into this. Quantity B is a similar expression, excepting that this term is different. So basically writing them side by side to understand what is all common. Let's eliminate the common terms. The comparison basically boils down to minus 21xy and 16xy. If x upon y is negative, xy will be negative. So 21 times xy is mi sorry, minus 21 times xy is minus 21 into a negative number, which is going to be positive. 16 times xy is 16 times a negative number that's going to be negative. Positive numbers are greater than negative numbers, which means quantity A is greater than quantity B. Choice A is the answer. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash quant. The URL is there on the screen. This is a GRE online quant course, the most comprehensive course you will get. You can sign up either on the web using Google Chrome browser or you can download our Android or iOS app and get started. It takes all of five minutes and three steps to get started. Start with the free topics, start with statistics, averages, and a few lessons in data interpretation. Build momentum into your GRE quant preparation. Once you've got the momentum and you find that this teaching methodology helps you prepare for the GRE, you can pay and access the remaining topics behind the paywall. Second thing I want you to do is subscribe to this channel youtube.com slash GRE and turn on notifications. If you have friends or classmates preparing for the GRE, let them know about this channel and this online course. Until next time, stay healthy, Stay safe and stay motivated.